Happy New Year, sir. Happy New Year to you as well. I hope you had a good trip down here. It was. It was good. Excellent. Well, we are back. Hello, everybody out there. We, Roger and I have just been catching up, chewing the fat, jibber-jabbering. You don't get to hear hope that. Edit. but hope you're going to Oh, edit. I am. Oh, good. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I was say. Totally. But it's nice Wait to reestablish ourselves. And we are back for session two now of the rematch, the great rematch of Scenario 2 from Grant Takes Command. This is, once again... Grant crosses the Rapidan. I can't. I can't think of that in my brain without thinking Washington crossing the Delaware. <laughs> but we are here. Thank you for coming back. I hope you enjoyed the exciting first session, or at least we thought it was exciting. There was some. There were some tidbits in there that warranted some feedback in the comment section. So we really appreciate yes. those of you that that uh, looked upon that with favorability. If you have not watched the first session, what are you doing here, man? Thank you. Now stop it here. Go back and watch the first one. Or even better yet, watch the whole first playthrough. Then you will be completely up to speed on everything. But at least watch the first one of this re replay, because then you have an idea of what the victory conditions are and what our initial thoughts are as we play through this. But we're back with session two, as I say. I guess we don't have to do too much. We don't have to do a lot of tap dancing here. Do you have any thoughts before we get underway? Just a quick question. Are we on turn three we are on turn three officially did i not i did not Ooh, move that forward turn. yes so perfect okay. timing yes and uh, yes all of the ninth corps can now come in and all of yeah. those cavalry can come in with yeah. abandon yeah that was... so that is our one correction <laughs> we hope <laughs> well it's not much of a correction it would have been worse if we would played this out as day two that's right i was thinking there's no way i got the wagons that far south on one turn, yeah. unless I rolled. I don't remember rolling that well. Uh, we did have one uh, little discussion on Consum World, and I want to uh, thank you for that feedback, uh, just specifically about your retreat path. That That is what always garners the most discussion, is everyone's trying to wrap their brain around retreat paths. And there is a small nuance, and there was a great thread that we all had in the, I think it was on the, great campaigns facebook group so if you want to go join that that's a wonderful community of people just talking about stuff like this of the nuances on that retreat chart there where it talks about the difference between surrender and elimination and when you get to use that override path roger and i talked a little bit about it during the process but uh, there were some questions about well, why couldn't he just look into the future and determine that he was going to be eliminated with that horse artillery? Uh, that's not quite how it works. You do get to look into the future, but there are, the the surrender is based on the restrictions, which are mostly terrain based. And Roger just going through the the highest priority steps. Unfortunately, that caused manpower losses, which will in the natural order of things, eliminate a unit. So that's not the same as just surrendering because you don't have a place to go. He had places to go. They just weren't good. Yes, and I think someone commented, you know, I could have saved myself one manpower loss by simply eliminating the artillery off the top. I believe that was Holger, yes. And then I would have only lost one more manpower on the merit instead of losing two on the retreat since it goes on each unit which is pretty devastating if you can set up a good, as you did, a nice surround and a nice attack. And uh, and I obviously should just cheat in my cab, but I was hoping to smack you a little well, bit. Well, yeah, I mean, again, how, how prescient can you be when you're like, well, no, nah, I need the people there to stand and fight, so, you know. It, it, yeah, that was... Uh, is meant to screen, but it's not always meant to initially just run away, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, in your situation, yeah, I that, probably would have stood as well just for the extra manpower. Yeah, and otherwise the artillery would coast as they were anyway. No, and it, 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 it's fine. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So, Ken, thank you for pointing that out on uh, Consum World. And, of course, Holger, as always, thank you for your very detailed point-by-point -point analysis. We do appreciate that. That's what the comment section's for, folks. Please. You are invited to join us there. If you catch something that I missed, or and that happens a bit, either I missed it in editing or uh, we did not cover it properly in the game, feel free to give us feedback. That's what we are here for, because it makes everybody's play better down the road when they use that as a resource. That is our... Uh, how's that? I guess we are ready to go? Are you ready to go? Mm -hmm. Okay. I believe so, yeah. Cool. Then uh, we will do our... 
turn three, leader transfers. The Union will take that first. Yeah. So I'm going to move Sedgwick. It's going to go to Ricketts. I'm going to move Hancock and Grant to Mott. I think I'll leave, I'll leave Sheridan where he is as well. That's it for me, those two. Okay. I don't have a lot of choices here. I will start here on the west. Uh, Longstreet will stay with Field. Yule will stay where he is. Lee and Hill need to stay there so they have command ability. And Stewart is facing off against Sheridan up there. So I, it does not look like I have any that I want to do. Yes, that's good for me. So I think we're ready to get okay. underway. Okay. So why don't you take the first uh, initiative roll, and uh, good luck to you. Good luck to you as well. Here we go. That's that's a union initiative. So Sedgwick will activate Getty to fatigue one, and Wright to fatigue one. Here's their movement. Six. Getty's just going to go one to there. Rice just can do a min move to there. Under Grant, Hancock, and Mott. Initiative? Yours. Yours. Okay. I think I'll have AP Hill activate his entire core. Let's see where this goes. It's movement of plus two. That is wow. a fantastic movement. Yeah, this is one where I, I did not expect such bounty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to keep AP Hill and Lee there. And we'll just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. These guys will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Anderson will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to there. Initiative. It's yours. Hancock will activate Gibbon, Barlow, Artillery Reserve 2, and Mott. Wow. I can also go eat that. Something about those pretty May days that just makes you <laughs> yeah. feel like a marching. That kind of changes a little bit, but I was going to do Grant and Hancock are going to transfer to Barlow. Uh, Gibbon's going to go first. He's going to go one, two, three, four, and four. Five to there. So he has two remaining. What would the various cab units like to do? Well, Stuart is safe because you cannot attack him with that hex side between here because you did not start adjacent. But these guys are five versus your 13. I think we'll stand. Okay. Mott's going to go next. One, two, three, four, five, six. They would have one remaining to go to seven. Tory Reserve's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hancock. And of course, these guys are going to. Go along. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven of there. They'll go all the way down there. Initiative. Mine. Take Gibbon of T2. There's his movement. Six again. Uh, once again, what would your cavalry forces like to do? And based on where they are, if I were to do a cav retreat, my highest priority 
uh, since both of these are in your zone of control uh, this one would be the higher one because it's farther away and by road but it is in a Zox so that's uh, uh, for I guess A and then from there I could escape escape A. So we're gonna do a, a cav retreat. Take a fatigue flip. Here is their uh, plus two. So here's plus two to this two to this roll. That's four. So you'll lose two. Um, four remaining. They're gonna go here, and then out of a zock. Out of a zock. All right. So, and I need to get this way. It's farther, but not by road. So that's my four, and now the other two I can do as I wish. I'll go there. So I got options. All right. You have four remaining. Uh, what would Stuart like to do? Oh, that's a good question. So that's just a standard roll, and he does have this pathway out. So, yeah, he will also take a fatigue and flip. And here's the roll. Oh, you got the lottery. Happy New Year, Roger. All right, so he's going to take a loss. I will give you a loss here. He'll go one, two, three, and four to there. I still have four remaining. He's going to go back across the ford. One, two, three, and four to there. And you have zero left, so zero I, left. Will, yeah. I will stand there. Okay. Uh, initiative. Fine again. Man, this is not a good day so far for me. Do you want to risk flipping them? Do ya? Do ya? Cedric will activate right to T2. This is movement. Go five. So right will go one to there. He has four movement points remaining. Okay. And we will cav retreat out of there. Uh, we're still at three. So we get a plus two to this roll. That's a six. So you'll lose three. Uh, all right. So I have to go here because it's no Zoc. And then two. Farther away, no Zoc. Three. Four. Five. Six. Ooh. Right head is one remaining. He's just going to go back to there. Initiative. Mine again. Okay. Activate Devon. Two dice. You can go all four hexes. Hoping for a little better than that. One, two, three, four to there. Initiative. Mine again. Okay, now I'm calling BS on the die roller. <laughs> it's four in a row, sir. Yeah, I guess Sheridan was going to activate Davies, J.I. Greg, McIntosh, Chapman. I was going to activate everybody. Be two dice plus two. It's like ten hexes. Sheridan is going to go first with DM Greg and Davies. So we're going to go one, whoops, one, two, three, four, five. So he would have five remaining. So he has enough for a normal attack on Stuart. So this is going to be four to one half. The eight to one ratio, so it's plus seven on ratio. That is what I see, yep. Uh, there's no artillery in the woods. Tacticals even. And you'll get a minus one on the creek. Um, so the final is going to be a plus six. Plus six. 
Here's the attack roll. It's an eight. Here's the defense roll. Oh, wow. Mush. That's enough to get him out of there. So that is a plus seven. Um, he will be dead. So Rosser is deleted. I will take another manpower loss. And then Stuart will transfer to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Closest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So he goes down there. I used, used plus seven. Used four. Yep. Get an, an A. He's four, so he has one movement remaining. That's right. So he can go, he'll just go one to there. I see we spent the last several weeks planning. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I didn't plan on getting all these initiatives in a row. Let's see. That I didn't plan on. He can't attack. That was the only guys who could attack since they were the first ones to move. Greg's going to go one, two, three, four, five to there. Macintosh and Chapman are just going to go one. Two, three, four to there. Initiative. Yours. For the folks at home who are not writing this down, I'd like to point out I have rolled a one on a cav retreat and a one on combat. So that's two ones for the day in, o yeah. in not so many rolls. So I'm just going <laughs> to just, just, just keep a track today. Just curious. I just want to know. All right. Enough of this tomfoolery. I'm going to activate... E. Johnson. Here's his movement, plus one. There we go. Where is E. Johnson? Uh, right here, next to Getty. Oh, okay. I was looking in the He's wrong He's going to go one, two, three, four. Initiative. Line again. E. Johnson will go to two. Here's his movement. Here's his extended. He's okay. He's going to cross to there. Initiative, yours. Well, I guess I'd better activate Wagon C. Because I don't have anybody close that could help. Do I have anybody close that could get there? Nope. Better activate Wagon C. Here's their movement. Go five. This makes the most sense. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Initiative. Yours. E. Johnson will march. Here's his movement. Six. That's seven. So it's a seven. Really? Hmm. So to move into woods. Yeah, six, I believe. Six. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You have enough for a hasty. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's do extended march plus one. Ah, of course. Could never be so bountiful for me, could it? But we'll do this. We'll go six to there, and yes, I will launch a hasty attack on wagon B, and it will be uh, a three to one ratio, so plus two, and then a plus three for tactical. And then minus one for hasty, so I see a plus four. So plus four, yeah, minus one for hasty, yeah. So here is a plus four attack. Seven. <laughs> wow. I cannot catch a break <laughs> in this game. Ugh. Okay, cool, 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 cool. It's a plus one, is that right? It is a plus one, which does more harm to me then to you. I go to disorganize. You get a point for that, don't you, though? Uh, no, you only. it's only the disorganize when you're marching, when you, for extended march. I only get it if you retreat hexes, which, guess what? I needed one more pip. So, nope. Nothing for me. Just heartache. Ah, uh, I am a six, so I get a 1D. Fantastic. Uh, can't even catch that break. 
cool. All right, well, I am now, uh, I have surpassed you. You're a point in favor of manpower losses. Keeps on coming. Initiative! It's mine again. Doesn't matter. But we'll keep pushing. Let's have AP Hill activate the third core. Movement plus two. That's right. Heath will go first. Uh, his movement, his extended march. He's okay. I'll go one, two, three, and four. And we'll have AP Hill and Wilcox go next. Extended march. Man. Flips. Yeah. I'll go one, two, three, and four. And then Anderson's extended march. He's okay. Go one, two, three, and four. Initiative. It's mine again. We're here to have some fun. Let's have some fun. I'm going to attempt an assault on Bernie with Wilcox. So he'll go to three. Here is the attempt. It comes off. We're going to have for this have a plus one for assault, plus two for tactical, plus one for Lee bonus, and I have artillery covered at four to two, minus one for ratio. <laughs> I see a plus three final. Yeah, plus three final. Yep. All right, here's plus three final attack. Five. Watch this, folks. Okay. So plus two. It's plus two. Let's not get me out of there. Plus two. Uh, look, 14 is a 1 DR for me. And I'm an 11, so that is a 1 DA for me. So, painful. Lose a manpower. Flips. He has to retreat 1 to 2 hexes. Uh, let's see, so you attack from Lee's hex, so I think... I think the option is 3213 by road, further away, because um, the 3013 is in your Zoc, because restricted Zoc doesn't apply. Then two, Piney Branch, again by road. I could stop there, or I could continue retreating. I think I would like to go one more hex to there. Okay. I uh, will. Todd's tower is yours. If you'd like to keep, take it. Um, I do not want Todd's tavern because that that just means surrounding and screaming and death. So we will we will stay where we are. Initiative, yours. See, that was a good call. Let's see. So if I moved wagon B, he's gonna have to roll for an extended march. And I would give you points, minus two points, if I was suffering extended marks. And he's got like a plus three or something on a wagon. Yeah, it's uh, one for union, uh, one for wagon, right? Plus two. Yeah. Oh, Devin's got nothing to do, so... Activate Devin of T2. Here's his movement. Ah, Devin. One... Two, three, four to there. Initiative. Yours. Heath will go to th three and dig in. Initiative. Mine again. Activate Lomax and Wickham with Stuart. Here's their movement, plus three. It's an eight. I'll send Lomax out first. Here's his extended march. He's okay. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And Wickham's extend. He's okay. He will join them. Initiative. 
Mine again. Let's go over here to the west. And we'll have early March. Here's his movement. Plus one. Six. He will go one, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative, yours. I'll use an activation to bring on who's the first set here. Wilcox. Just Wilcox. He will come in at 1701, I think is one of my options. It is. Yep, 1701 to 2501, which is over there by Mount Holly Church. And we've determined that these half hexes are unplayable. Hexes, That's right. Correct. Right. Yeah, we'll drop Wilcox right there. And he should come in at fatigue level zero. Oh, right, right. Okay, yeah. Because he didn't come in last or oh, wrong way. Initiative. It's mine again. Uh, it's the second set. That includes Burnside. Okay, he doesn't come in until now. So yeah, I'll bring in Burnside, Potter, and the Provisional Brigade. And I'm going to drop them on the same hex. Initiative. Chores. Okay. Uh... I will activate early to march. Here is his movement, plus one. It's four. He will make an attack on the march on Kitching, so it will be plus one for prepared attack. It will be plus three for tactical, and there's the artillery, and then it will be a minus one for ratio of ten to fifteen. So I see four up, one down, plus three. Three artillery is not okay. to be a point. Yep. Let's try this. Here we go. I actually, you know what? I'm gonna positive, positive thought. I'm mentally picturing. Here we go. Here's the attack. Okay. No. Well, seven. <sighs> oh, it's a plus one. No. Plus one. Uh, yeah, it's plus one. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. Unbelievable, Roger. You are killing me today. Wow. Uh, five is D because I don't. Yeah, yeah it's only you don't use the right. Yeah, you're you're D, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm worse. I'm ten at plus one is one D. Man alive! I lose a manpower. Wow! Just everything on paper is like, yeah, these have a better than average chance. No. Yeah. No. That was... Not for me. All right, so we are tied at manpower losses, but <sighs> all right, adapt, overcome. Here we go, initiative. It's mine again. All right, Longstreet will activate Kershaw and Field. Field will need an extended march. Here's their movement plus two. Fields extended march. It's okay. He will go one, two, three, and four. And Kershaw's extend. Oh, it doesn't have extend. He will go one, two, three, four. Initiative. Dang it. George. Uh, Burnside will activate Wilcox. Here's his movement. And go four hexes. Burnside will travel with Wilcox. One, two, three, four to there. Initiative. Yours. I got to strike while the iron is hot here. Field will go to three. And Longstreet will attempt an assault on Kitching and Culpepper. Here's the assault attempt. It comes off. It comes off. All right. So we have plus one for assault, have plus four for tactical, and we have a ratio now of 12 to 9, so we got that covered. Uh, we got plus one for long street bonus. So I see plus six. Yes, final plus six. Let's see what we can do with plus six. Come on, baby. Plus six. Nine. 
it's still a plus four. So plus four on three. It's not gonna get me a manpower loss, but it does route you quite a bit of ways. Demoralization marker. And this actually I might get one on on the because this is a situation now, folks, where he's up against the wall. So there will be an override here at some point, but that will still cause a manpower loss, I think. So we'll we'll take it in steps here, of course. Yeah. So the first option is I have to go to thirteen oh one because that's that's eleven oh one's in your zot, and the other hex is out of and thirteen oh two. So that's my only option by road further away, no loss. So now I've got the map edge in fourteen oh one. And this would be a restriction on your retreat, so you can't yeah. go there. Uh, without being a surrender. So here you could override that to go there, but that's still going to be only two away. So that's... Yeah, so I'm not further away, not by road. So I'm in the four option to the right of that is retreat is in the enemy's op. It's not, no, retreat is, where am I at? I think it's three. It's not into an enemy's op, more distant. It's not, or, okay, yeah. So that should be a manpower loss. Because right. there's no road, and it's not farther away. But that is your override choice. Uh, yes. And now you can keep going from there. But I lose a manpower for that. Correct. So there's another manpower for you. But now I continue to go further away. Now you can just ride the Three, hexes, yeah. Four. And I'll go one more five to there. Good. Okay. And uh, all pepper is yours. All right. So if you want, uh, I was a plus four, and I have twelve. So I, guess what? I lose one too. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Oh wow, and a fatigue. Okay. Against this game. Oh, I can afford to trade manpower. Yes, you can. All right. So we take that. He's done for the day. Um, I am not going to take it. I'm not going to take Culpepper, because right now we got it kind of blocked. So, that's fine. And those are not destroyable sources of depots anyway, so there's no need for me to yeah. take it. Um, okay. Yeah, you just have to block the Zoc. Yeah, that's, that's right. So, By road. So, we both had six manpower losses, but that is, wow, 18 to 12, so plus six in your favor. Yeah. Man. My hopes and schemes and plans and dreams. All for nothing. Here we go. Initiative. It's mine again. It's like I didn't quite get there in time. Yes, he can light his cigar from the fires of battle. No, oh, he's only a two. Golly. <laughs> yeah. C come get some. <laughs> uh, Doesn't even give a manpower. Well, Wilcox is a two. I'm going to pass. So you passed, eh? Yeah, I have a feeling that uh, short of you getting too frisky for the remainder of the turn, I may just be passing. But we'll see. Field is done. Kershaw's got a green yet. But he is a bunch of artillery. Our engineers outside of Culpeper say that these flat, flat planes are perfect for cannon. Yeah. Oh, I wish I could do some detachments. Warns Griffin 17 just sitting there, but I can't pull him out of there. Because then Ram Sewer gets frisky. Uh, we'll take Wagon A to T1. Here's his movement. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Initiative. Yours. I will pass. Take Wagon C to T2. I can go five axes. One, two, three, four, five to Wilderness Tavern. Initiative, yours. It pains me to just see those wagons trundling down the road, but there's not much I can do about it, so carry on. Hancock's going to activate Barlow and Artillery Reserve 2. It's their movement. They can go four hexes. Car reserve two will go first. 
Go one, two, three to there. Barlow and Hancock will go one, two, three to there. Okay, initiative. Mine. Well, I'd like to move Wagon B. That's going to be a plus two. Let's take Devin to T3. Here's his movement. He can go five. Here's his extend march. He's okay. He can go one, two, three, four, and five to Wagon B. Initiative. Yours. I'll pass. I'll bring for let's see. Okay. Ferraro, the Ninth Corps Artillery, all those guys come in at the same time. Ferraro is gonna go here. Ninth Corps Artillery is gonna go there. All these little artillery cab units are gonna go there. Initiative. Fine. I can activate the ninth core artillery with Burnside. Take one. This is movement. Ah. Go one, two to there. Initiative. Presume pass. Yeah, go ahead. Ninth artillery, T2. With Burnside. You can go three hexes. It's going to go one. Doesn't have enough to get in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. because he's over 11. Yep. Initiative. I'll try him to fatigue three. Here's his movement. And extend march. He's okay. Okay, so he got some artillery now. You're going to have to deal with that <laughs> problem. Initiative. Soon pass. Go ahead. Take. Wilcox to T2 and the artillery to T4. They're just going to entrench. Initiative. Soon pass. Mm -hmm. Burnside will activate Potter. T1. There's this movement. He can go six hexes. Burnside will go with Potter. So it's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Initiative. Mine. Take him to T two, Potter. This movement. He can go five hexes. Go one, two. He is one. No, not going to make the attack. Initiative. Mine again. Take the 13th PA to fatigue one. Seven. One, two, three, four. Initiative. Mine. Second Ohio. One, two, four. Initiative. Uh, Burnside will attempt an assault on E. Johnson with Potter. Here's the attempt. This does come off. Does of course, all just has to be an equal. Could, couldn't roll another six, could you? <laughs> <laughs> Type. It's plus one. I have all six hexes covered now. I think the max, um, max you're going to get is plus one. Yeah, because three are going to come off. Because 2206 comes off because I don't have a road into it. That's cross a creek in the hex. And this one comes off, same thing. But I have, so I only get the, uh, so that's three come off. So it's a plus one for a final flank. But now things are going to go pretty south pretty quickly because you're going to get a minus one for tactical. I guess that's the only one that comes off. So the final is going to be a plus one attack. Okay. That moment of trepidation. Uh, we'll see. Plus one. Charge. Oh. A six. All I want for Christmas is a six on the die roller. No, of course not. So let's see. Plus four. 
plus four result. On the six is a one DR, and on me, I'm a eleven is an FA. And I'm going to take more on retreat. So let's do one off the top, and we'll give you that. Things are looking pretty dire for me here. He needs to go. I have a choice here. They're both ugly. I can go here or here. This one is farther away. Um, this one is not farther away. This one would be one manpower loss because I'm still in your Zoc, but not by road. This one would be two manpower because I'm not by road and closer. But it gives me an avenue of escape. But... Do I really want that? So I'm going to go this way. I'm going to take another manpower loss. That's what you see, right? Yep. Cool. Yep. All right, so another manpower loss. Now at 24 to 12. Man. <laughs> All right, then we'll go here. That is farther away. Yeah, you're fine now. Now I'm you fine, got yeah. Home. Okay. Uh, that's one, two, and oh, we are demoralized. Three, four. And then I'm going to do that to destroy that bridge. Well, that was uh, that was pretty good. All right. Wow. E. Johnson just flushed out of the woods, man. I should have, since you were dead, I should have used these other cab units to, to block that as well. I was wondering if you were gonna how how committed you were to it. Would you get, were you gonna move them into here and completely force a surrender? But I'm thankful that you didn't. Yeah, I, I should have. I I didn't even you know. I got okay. I got it uh, done. And yeah, I, I you could have at me. least forced me to go this way to prevent yeah. surrender, and then that would have been two losses more. But uh, as it stands, you still got two on me. So good good job. And you're a thorn in my side. Still. Well, still. Initiative. Yours. Pass. Second Ohio, T2. Go six hexes. One, two, three, four, five to there. Initiative. Presume pass. Go ahead. Just keep going until the end. Okay. 13th Pennsylvania. Two, three, four. If you want to cross through, we're going to have to fight for it. Um, I'll roll it. Uh, just yell at me if you see something you don't want me to do. Sure, okay. I'll take Ferraro to fatigue. One, just his movement. One. Fine again, take him T2. Three this time. One, two, three. Uh, for some pass. Cap burn side, I'll take for our T3. This is movement plus one. Standard march. It's fine. It's just going to go one, two to Shepherd's Grove. Uh, knit. Mine, oh, you're probably going to want to start responding to these things. Uh, Wilson's going to activate Chapman and Macintosh to fatigue two. Here's their movement, two die plus one. Psycho six. Wilson will go with Macintosh. Two, three, four, five, six. I think it's Chapman will just follow along behind with him. Uh, initiative, yours. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, so, uh, yeah, WH Lee will activate Chambliss and the first North Carolina. And they will, they will get a plus two to this roll. Mush! <laughs> Mushy cried. 
uh, we'll go one, two, three, and one, two, and three. Initiative, mine, Stuart will have his two, dig in. Let me go to Abatis. Initiative, it's mine, I will pass. Okay, Sheridan will activate Davies. Go seven, eight, nine. Let's go one, two, three. He's just going to go there then. Initiative, mine. 22nd New York. Go six. One, two, three, five, six to there. Initiative, mine. 22nd New York. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Initiative, yours, if you'd like it. Go ahead. Uh, third, New Jersey. Seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there. Is that right? Jump to there. Okay. Initiative. Yours, if you like it. Pass. Yeah, Warren can activate artillery reserve one. Seven. He's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Take him to T two. He's just gonna do a min move to Crawford. Initiative. Yours, presume pass. Go ahead. Torbro will activate Custer. What's their movement? Seven plus one. I'll go eight X's. He's got to go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You should do, presume that's mine. So I'll take Custer. Movement four. That was useless. He dropped his mirror. I guess two, three, four to there. Initiative pass. I'll take provisional to fatigue one. There's his movement. Oh, this might not be. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Initiative. Presume pass. He's going to entrench. Okay. He's got no artillery and no leadership. Golly, jeez. Uh, initiative. Presume pass. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pass as well. Okay. It's been a hell of a day. CSA <laughs> took it on the chin, or I guess maybe I took it on the chin here. Let's uh, let's do our recovery. Lots of recovery. We'll move our time to turn four. Two turns remaining. Let's call this one here, and we'll do like we did last time. We'll have a nice little one-turner to... I don't know. It's certainly not saving the pain. Uh, let's do a quick recount of the victory points, just to make sure that I show I have eight for 24 points for you, and you have six for 12 points for me, so that is a net 12 in your favor. You only need to get to 18. You might be able to do it just on manpower, or, you know, manpower and two wagons. Can, can you imagine that? That would be heartbreaking. You get those two wagons to Chancellorsville, you just hang out there. That's 18 points. And I have to keep my line of communication open. Yeah, you're doing a pretty good job of that. The Ninth Corps, uh, they arrived just in time. I think you sniffed out what I'm trying to do on the east. Dang it. That went far better with your cavalry hunt than I had hoped for. But 
that's that's going pretty well. Uh, I'm I'm pleased with AP Hill in the third core, but only just. I have a feeling the counterattack on that is going to be far worse. So uh, I'm just yeah, I'm hemorrhaging, man. I every I mean let's look let's have a catalog of my failures today. We have early failed by one. Long Street just barely made it. Uh, let's see what else we had here. Uh, oh, of course, E. Johnson here failed by one. That was that, that was, hurt. That was that was yeah. <laughs> Freaking wagons, man. <laughs> Um, I, I had forgotten about that Sassan's Ford and I meant to actually bring Devin down, but I got distracted by Stuart going up through Pineview post office. Yeah. Um, yeah. so oh, I moved right. him up there right. and, uh, instead of bringing Devin down to, to block just in case you, and I was actually looking at Stuart, which is the play that I made, but I think I took Stuart and somebody else. So, but yeah, I was able to just barely hang on there. I, I'm excited to see what happens in turn four. Turn four could be the terminus for this one, because if, if I get too deep in the manpower losses, which you're doing, I mean, you're making stands left and right, which is incredible. And oh, yeah. if, if I bring in a substantive force to attack and you're making a stand, well, I'm just doing more harm than good to myself. Even in the one where I had AP Hill here, uh, we both took one. And I'm not affecting too many manpower losses, although Kitching was a nice little. But as it stood, I took one in the attack anyway. So it's just, yeah, the Union can go toe to toe with that three, three, two now. And uh, that's yeah. why I'm very reticent to make an attack if I don't get at least a plus three, even a plus four. And these plus fours and plus sixes are all just failing because I'm rolling yeah. low, or you're rolling very high. Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah, that was. E. Johnson on the wagon, that was crucial. Early's attack on Kitchings. I don't, you know, I was looking at the manpower, and I thought, well, that's all right. And then that zero leadership really balances out the manpower in a big way. But you, you're bad luck today. That was all. Uh, <laughs> what? I wish I could say there was skill on my part. Uh, but... Well, I can handle the bad luck, but then when you exploit it with, you know, I'm, I'm just in a position that I have to keep passing, and then you're like, okay, here comes the Ninth Corps and all the cavalry, and surround, surround, oh. surround, and it's just like, there's nothing I can do, but here it comes, here it comes, there it is. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know why I got in a hurry. I, I didn't need to, because you weren't able to get out of there. So, yeah, I should have blocked that hex, or, or just put a cav unit to force you, you know, put a cav, I didn't even have to block it, I could just put a cav unit there. yeah. And then you would have suffered manpower losses going across. Even when things were starting to go askew over here at U.S. Ford and Richards Ford and everything, uh, and then I was I was not getting what I wanted down here, I was punching myself on the shoulder. I'm going to give Roger something to think about. I'm going to move E. Johnson. And then he got up there, and he got up there, and ooh, hasty attack. Yes, please. And no. Yeah. Yeah, that was. So, that yeah, was I, when I can make you react to me, that's great. And then the dice react for you. They're like, oh yeah, yeah? no. Yeah, uh, that was that was. Those are two great stands. Yeah, I could. Both of us are breathing heavy after this one. It's like, ah, come on, come on. It's supposed to work different. Well, anyway, folks, thanks for uh, thanks for joining us here for Mush episode. Two, and <laughs> we will see you next time as we remind you each and every week please click that like and subscribe button that's the little bell and the thumb and the bell will tell you about when i drop these episodes uh, that that just tells the youtube algorithm that we're doing something okay and we got peepers on this episode i'm also showing you our current financial supporters we got a very generous new one this week so thank you very much uh they are right up there at the top. You do not have to feel obligated in any way, shape, or form, but some people are liking the content enough that they want to kick in a couple bucks. And that I, I got a I got a new light, so perhaps for the new year, maybe we're gonna start, you know, doing some live streaming. Gosh, help me. You don't want to see this, but now at least the light will make my face look less pasty. Uh, <laughs> Roger. As always, it is uh, I'm glad I could provide you with a free lunch today. It is always good to, to take it on the chin from you, but uh, you, you did some great playing today. Well, th thank you, and I wish I could take credit for breaking the Vassal Dice Roller for me. But, Grr, for you, I should say. But... 
<laughs> um, yeah, uh, fun session. Very tense. Look forward to finishing this one off, one way or the other. Yeah, I'm I'm excited, which is unfortunate because uh, scenario three is just this little teeny tiny Triscuit cracker of a cheese appetizer. It's just one turn done. Oh, is it? And, oh, oh, yeah. It's it. it's the race for Spotsylvania, and then you get the oh, okay. the big powerful bloody Spotsylvania, which will be scenario four. So we will wrap this up next time, and we thank you all for joining us. Roger, have a great week, man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.